There are many labels known to society identifying an individual's sexual orientation. We ask the public which of these sexualities they identify with. But what happens when these labels, supposedly identifying an individual, excludes them from participating in a community? We asked why these labels insufficiently represent the broad spectrum of individuals and their sexuality, exploring how individuals experience sexuality differently and how they perceive these labels as exclusionary, not only to the wider community, but within the gay community. Our research team has identified how existing literature on sexuality explores sexuality as a social construct. Within Australian society, straight, gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer and asexual individuals are valued differently and therefore treated differently among their peers, family, the media, governmental policy and the rest of society. By categorising sexual identities through these labels, heterosexuality is given a superior position in society. Negative connotations are therefore attached to other forms of sexuality, unfortunately resulting in exclusion among individuals who begin identifying their sexual orientation as inferior. We have recognised how sexuality often leads to cases of exclusion and inclusion between identifying with straight, the norm, and other sexualities, seen as deviant to the norm. If we apply the circumstances highlighted by existing literature to an Australian context, it is clear that there is both a socio-cultural and religious influence on sexuality. Sexuality is often universalised. Prior research has been limited by the lack of acknowledgement for religion, ethnicity, nationality and culture, all important aspects of individual identity creating diverse experiences of sexuality. The 2011 Australian Census found that almost a quarter, 24.6% of Australians, were born overseas, and 43.1% of people have at least one parent who were born overseas. Recognising Australia as a multicultural society is a significant aspect for our pitch to DSI, helping to fund our research on how sexuality is experienced across different ethnicities and religions. Our main aim is to establish governmental policy, health and wellbeing services that are culturally efficient in meeting the needs of those who require support. Furthermore, it is important to advocate individual experiences of sexuality according to culture and religion, working towards creating an inclusive community within Australian society. We have found that the common method used to approach sexuality has been ethnography. Although its application may reveal how sexuality is enacted in society, it fails to represent the opinions and beliefs of individuals living in different cultural groups. Sexuality needs to be examined cross-culturally, and ethnographic methods produce qualitative data that only sheds light on exclusive cultural communities. If we were to supplement the information gathered from ethnographic research with quantitative data, our research will reveal a broader spectrum of information. A pluralistic methodological approach will build on the ethnographic methodology that has been applied to researching sexuality whilst comparing sexuality in different cultural groups. This will ultimately allow us as researchers to link these findings to produce a conclusion on how culture has affected issues of sexuality and an individual's integration in a community. Sexuality has become an increasingly prominent issue in contemporary society. It is essential for us to consider experiences of sexuality across different cultures to create accurate representations of sexuality. Our research team has identified the importance of utilising both qualitative and quantitative data, so research methods of ethnography may not be hindered by criticisms of generalisation or universalisation, providing invaluable insight into how sexuality is experienced across cultural and ethnic contexts within the multicultural Australian community.